Number seven, getting into some calculations here. A single atom of platinum has a mass of 3.25 times 10 to the negative 22 grams. What is the mass of 6.0 times 10 to the 23rd platinum atoms? And so I have a certain number of platinum atoms. I have 6.0 times 10 to the 23rd platinum atoms. Okay? Add that many atoms. Because I know that each single one platinum atom has a mass of 3.25 times 10 to the negative 22 grams. I can set up my conversion factors. But look what I've done here. I started with platinum atoms. Platinum atoms. That unit is immediately down diagonal. Why? Because I need these to cancel out. Why do I need them to cancel out? Because the question is asking for mass. So I need mass, grams, to be the unit I report my answer in. And the only way I can do that is to get rid of the other units and have grams on the numerator. Okay? Asking where do I get this? Look at this phrase here. A single atom of platinum. This is a single atom of platinum. Has a mass of this. So this is equal to this. Statement of equality. Sound familiar? This conversion factor is on based on the statement of equality. One platinum atom is equal to 3.25 times 10 to the negative 22 grams. That's my statement of equality. I've turned this into a conversion factor. All that's left to do is some calculation. Move that up just a little bit. There we go. 6.0 times 3.25. So I come up with 19.5. And the reason I'm not uh, getting too excited about finishing my answer here is because I know I need to uh, have this in proper scientific notation and the appropriate number of significant figures, which is probably not going to be pumped out of the calculator directly. So 19.5 uh, is what the calculator told me, but I also have some scientific notation issues to deal with. I'm multiplying these two numbers that have exponents in them, so my rule is I'm going to add these exponents together. So I have exponent of 23 plus negative 22, that equals 1. So I bring that down here, so 19.5 times 10 to the first. Here's the issue. This is not in proper scientific notation because this coefficient is not between 1 and 10. I'm going to have to move that decimal over one place. So now I have 1.95 times 10 to the second grams. But I'm still not ready to report an answer because I haven't considered the appropriate number of significant figures yet. I look at the two values that the question gave me. And I see that this has three significant figures and this one has two. That means my answer can have no more than two significant figures. So I'm going to have to round to this spot. What does this five right here tell me to do to this nine? It tells me to round it up. So what I'm going to report as my final answer is 2.0 times 10 to the second grams. So let's write this in. 2.0 times 10 to the second grams.